You're watching Minimation World TV. Please like, share, and subscribe for more fun adventures. Welcome back, Mini Fams. Join Seraphim and Kurt on a cosmic adventure as they explore comets, asteroids, and meteorites. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello, Mini Fams. Kurt, look at that enormous comet heading our way. It's so bright, like a giant sparkler in the sky. I've never seen anything like it, and it looks like it's moving really fast. It sure does, Seraphim. Comets are like cosmic snowballs made of ice, dust, and rock. They come from the Oort cloud, way out at the edge of our solar system, 100,000 times farther than the distance from Earth to the Sun. That's almost as far as a quarter of the way to the next star. The Oort cloud? Sounds like a freezing cold place, perfect for a snowball fight. But how do these comets make it all the way over here? Well, they travel millions of miles to get close to the sun. When they do, the sun's heat causes the ice to vaporize, creating that stunning glowing tail that always points away from the sun. It's like a cosmic firework show just for us. Amazing. Let's zoom in and get an even closer look at the comet's icy surface and that beautiful tail. It's like we're in a space safari. Our cosmic explorers are getting an up-close look at a comet, a visitor from the far reaches of the solar system, with a story carved in ice and rock. Wow, Kurt. Look at the comet's surface. It's so bumpy and uneven, like a dirty snowball that's been rolled through a rocky field. But it's sparkling in places, too. What's all that glittery stuff? That glitter is a mix of ice, dust, and rock. Comets are like cosmic time capsules. When they get close to the sun, the heat causes the ice to vaporize, releasing gas and dust, which then forms that bright, beautiful tail stretching out behind it. That tail is incredible. It's like a glowing ribbon trailing in the wind. But why does it always point away from the sun no matter which direction the comet is moving? Great observation, Seraphim. That's because of the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles flowing from the sun. It pushes the tail outward, away from the sun. And get this, some comets even have two tails, one made of dust and the other of gas. I knew about Halley's Comet, which returns every 76 years, but I had no idea there were so many comets with their own stories. I wonder how many of them we'll get to see during our journey. Now, Seraphim and Kurt are exploring the asteroid belt, a region filled with rocky remnants from the early days of our solar system. Wow, Kurt, this asteroid belt is incredible. It looks like a massive cosmic scrapyard with rocks of all sizes floating around. How did this place become so filled with debris? These asteroids are ancient leftovers from when our solar system was forming. Instead of merging into planets or moons, they stayed as scattered fragments. Some are as large as entire cities, while others are just small pebbles drifting through space. That's fascinating. What are these asteroids made of? Are they just rock, or do they have different components and materials inside them? They're mostly rock, but some contain valuable metals like iron and nickel. There are different types carbonaceous asteroids with carbon compounds, silicate asteroids made of minerals, and metallic ones rich in metals. Each type gives us clues about the early solar system. And do any of these asteroids have interesting features or events associated with them, like the Tunguska event? Yes, some have tiny moons or are made of loose rubble held together by gravity. The Tunguska event in 1908 is a great example. An asteroid or comet exploded over Siberia, flattening 2,000 square kilometers of forest without leaving a crater. It was a massive explosion caused by a space rock. Now, Seraphim and Kirsch are observing a stunning meteor shower, 
where meteorites are streaking through the sky and landing on a distant planet. Look at those meteorites, Kurt. They're lighting up the sky like fireworks. It's amazing how they create such a spectacle. Absolutely. When these space rocks burn up in our atmosphere, they're called meteors. If they survive and land on the ground, they're called meteorites. So when we see a shooting star, we're actually watching a burning rock fall through the sky. Exactly. And meteorites can be fascinating because they might contain materials that are billions of years old, offering a glimpse into the early solar system. What's the largest meteorite ever found? The Hoba meteorite in Namibia is the largest known meteorite on Earth, weighing an astonishing 60 tons. What makes this massive piece of space rock even more remarkable is that despite its enormous size and weight, it didn't create a crater when it landed. Instead, it gently came to rest on the surface, leaving scientists puzzled and fascinated. This unusual event has made the Hoba meteorite not just a significant scientific find, but also a unique and intriguing piece of cosmic history, offering us a rare glimpse into the mysteries of our universe. As Seraphim and Kurt return to their spaceship, they reflect on the amazing cosmic journey they've just completed. Today was incredible, Kurt. We explored comets, asteroids, and meteorites. Each one had its own fascinating story and secrets to reveal. Absolutely. Space is full of wonders and mysteries. We've just begun to scratch the surface of what's out there. I'm already so excited for our next adventure. The universe is just so vast, with endless wonders waiting to be explored. Every time we journey through space, we uncover something new and amazing, and I can't wait to see what we'll discover next. There's always more to learn and so many fascinating things out there just waiting for us. I hope you learned a lot today and had as much fun as I did, Minifams. Our adventures are only just beginning, and I can't wait to share even more with you next time. We'll be ready for whatever comes next, Minifams, no matter how big or mysterious it might be. Space is full of wonders just waiting to be uncovered. And with every new adventure, we learn something extraordinary. There's so much out there from distant stars to hidden planets, and it's all just waiting for us to explore. So let's keep our curiosity alive, keep asking questions, and keep discovering all the amazing things that the universe has to offer. The more we explore, the more we realize just how vast and incredible the cosmos truly is. I'm excited to see what we'll find next, and I know you'll be right there with us, mini fans. Thanks for joining Seraphim and Kurt on their cosmic quest. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars and stay curious about the universe. See you next time, Minifams. Please like, share, and subscribe for more fun learning and adventures.